Welcome to this video about the wave theory of sound. We would like to describe sound by waves. Uh, we assume that we have an inviscid fluid. Fluid particles move forward and backward and the driving force is a pressure change in the media. Just longitudinal waves in theory of sound uh, propagate and the wave is described by a relation about the wavelength, speed of sound and the frequency. So the wavelength equals the speed of sound divided by the frequency. So in this sense, um, in the inviscid fluid, the sound waves have a pos positional change of the amplitude uh, described by the wavelengths. So we have a certain change of the pressure, of the acoustic pressure, with the position. Additionally, we also have in this sense a relation to the change in time uh, by this periodicity T. And this is how the sound waves change in time and also in, in the coordinate direction X. And this is more or less how we would like to describe uh, sound waves. Uh, this periodicity uh, can be shown here in this uh, graph uh, where we assume that a loudspeaker amplifies an inviscid fluid like air and then we have at a fixed position as we have it here at a fixed position we monitor the acoustic pressure and we see that the acoustic pressure in this monitoring point uh, has a certain uh, harmonic shape here is a kind of a sinusoidal function and also if we would plot the the wave amplitudes uh, over a coordinate direction. We also have oscillations there. And this is how our sound behaves uh, in this uh, inviscid fluid. Um, typical quantities uh, we have when we experience sound are that in air, we have a speed of sound of about 340. Um, in water, it's quite higher is about 1400 at ambient conditions and we have a density in the area of about 1.2 kilograms per cubic meter and uh, water is about a thousand. This means uh, if we have now in air um, typical conditions of the wave speed, so the speed of sound, um, then we have some wavelength according to it and typically at a specific frequency as the speed of sound is higher in water also the wavelength is higher in water and vice versa in air. Um, this means for a specific frequency we can then define how long the wavelength is and according to that uh, calculate some dimensionless numbers as we have heard in previous Thank you. This was it about uh, typical quantities uh, and the nature of sound uh, we would like to model by waves. In the next videos we're going to in depth study how to derive the wave equations and stuff like this. Thank you.